In this video, we're going to be looking at Live Portrait, which is an awesome and free piece of software that allows you to animate any face you want with your own recordings, which gives you full control. I'll show you what it's good at, what it's not so good at, some tips and tricks, and how to use it to create some incredible looking videos. It's so much fun to use. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so let's jump straight onto the Live Portrait website. And this is it. It's incredibly simple. All you have to do is drop an image into this box and then upload a video with a face animation into here and then click animate and it will show the result down here. I will leave all the links that you need down below in the description. To start off, I'll try with the examples that they provide. I'll try this old photographic style of this man here and I'll use this video of this man. It's only seven seconds, so hopefully it won't take that long to animate. Okay, and let's check out the video. All right, that looked really good. It did a really good job at moving the mouth. And if you come here, you can actually see the comparison from the video of the man, the photo in the middle, and the video output. So let's have a little look at this. It's a really good way to see how much it is copying from the video. I actually filmed a bunch of videos of myself doing different facial animations in different angles and saying different things just so I could really test out this software. So let's have a look at the different kind of images that it works with. I created a bunch of images in Mid Journey also. So I've created this CGI Pixar style boy here and I'll upload one of my videos that I created. <laughs> so this is a video of me doing different expressions, and I just want to see how well it works with this character. Okay, so let's check it out. It's doing a really good job with the eye movement. It does seem to blur a bit if you really push the expressions to the extreme, but I'm really happy with how it looks. And if you come here, you can download the video. And you can also download the three comparisons as well. Now I'll try the same image, but with a different video of me talking to see how well it works with talking mouth animation. And it looks really good. The way he's opening his mouth is incredibly natural and looks like a professional animation, to be honest. I'm really happy with that and with the subtle eyebrow movements as well. That looks really good. You can use it with more cartoon style images, but it can struggle with them. As you can see in this video, the mouth isn't quite working as good in this one. He's just got the kind of clenched teeth look the whole time. This one works okay within the rest of the head, but as soon as the mouth opens, it gets all blurry and distorted, which doesn't look that good. And here's a few more CG style characters that work really well. Some of these look incredibly realistic. As you can see, the movement of the head just looks very real. Now, this does come down to the recording that you give it. So if you provide it with a nice, clean recording with facial features that are easy to see, then it has a better time with creating a more higher quality output. And I wanted to see how well it works with people wearing glasses. I've actually used the audio for this and turned it into a small video, so stay tuned for that. And it's done an incredible job. It's tracking the glasses properly. His eyes are moving independently behind the glasses, which is really impressive. But there are some limitations. As you can see with this one, the hood is not moving with the face. So it can struggle if there is a lot around the head of the person, say if they're wearing a hat, or in this case, a hood, it does struggle. So if you compare it to the original footage that I gave it of this doctor that I found on a stock footage website, it's facial animation looks really good on the girl, but it's just kind of ruined by the fact that the hood isn't moving. So this is just an aspect to be aware of. It can also struggle if the face of the person in your image has their head in a different direction from the video that you're giving it. So for this example here of this man holding a plank position, his head is in a different position from the position of the head in the video I provided. So because of this, his mouth is getting distorted through a lot of the video. But then when I provided a recording of myself in the same position of his head in the photo, 
it came out much better. So this is what it looks like with my head in the correct position. And as you can see, the mouth is coming out a lot better. So this just shows you if you are running into problems and the image of the face that you want to animate is at a certain angle, then I would suggest to record yourself or find a video of a head where the angle is matching up with the image. So let's have a quick look now at how it works with animals. Now this can be quite hit and miss as some animal images just won't work. For instance, if I use this image of a cat with the video of this man, then when I click on animate, it will come up with error. And this is because it can't find a face within this cat. But if I use this image of a cat, it should work. And I believe the difference is the angle of the cat's face, as this one is looking a bit more head on and it's probably able to recognize the cat's facial features a bit more. So let's have a look at it. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. It opens its mouth in a really creepy way, but it just shows you that it does work. I also had a similar experience with a dog photo as well. So I found out that this photo of a dog didn't work, but this photo did. I'm not sure why, but maybe adding a black background to these images does help with the software recognizing it. So here's a few videos that I created with the different animals and with a voice recording over the top. Hello there. I'm a cat. How do I look? Where is my food? Hmm. Hello. I'm a dog. Wanna play catch? Hi there. I'm Ginny the chimpanzee. And I'm all out of bananas. So, can you please get me one? Thanks. I think they sounded pretty good. It definitely works better with humans, but it is good to know that you can use it on some animals. Okay, so let's have a look at a few tips you can use in this software. If you've got a video of a face that you want to put onto an image, but you only want certain parts of the face to be animated, say you just want the eyes to move, but you don't want the mouth moving, then what you can do is take the video and import it into some video editing software, and then you want to mask out the section that you don't want it to copy. So for this one, I just want the eye animations, so I'll put a black box over the mouth and export that. And then when you add it into the website with the image that you want to animate, it should only take those eye animations. And let's say you have an image with multiple people in it, and you want each face to have different animations. Well, the way to get around this is similar to the tip that I just explained. Just like we did with covering up the mouth, what you want to do is create different images, and each image you want to cover up the face of the person that you don't want to animate, and then put it into the software, and I've given it three different video animations. And then you can take those videos into your video editor, and then use the masking tool to make it look like they're all together and the result looks really cool. This just opens up more opportunities if you've got multiple people in your image. So I was thinking how could you use this software in creative ways? I believe there are a lot of opportunities for creating a lot of really awesome videos and for storytelling. So I've created a few different videos which I'll show you shortly, and I created them using this software, and then my recorded voice, which I have changed in Eleven Labs, if you don't want to use your own voice. And I'm really happy with the results. For this first video, I want to show you how well it works with singing. So I created a song in Udio, and then I recorded myself lip syncing. Now I'm not going to show the video of me lip syncing as it's quite cringeworthy, but I'll show you the video that it created, and I think it worked really well. And this opens up a lot of opportunities for creating music videos. And here's a video of a man who's been holding the plank position for a very long time. Oh man, 
I've been holding this plank for like three days now. This is insane. Oh my god. I'm not sure how long I can keep holding this. Oh, I really need the toilet. Don't know how long I can hold this. Oh no. Was that the doorbell I just heard? Please, someone help me. Unstuck. I think this is where the facial animations really work because you can have the rest of the body still, like this video showcased, and it works with just having the face animated. It works really well for stand up comedy, like in this clip. Why did the AI cross the road? <laughs> to optimize the chicken's path to the other side. <laughs> Why are AI systems such bad comedians? Their jokes always lack a human touch. <laughs> Why did the AI refuse to play cards? It couldn't deal with human. Oh, unpredictability. <laughs> and I tried a bit of comedy, but with a man stuck in traffic. Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about our common enemy, traffic. Why does everyone hate it? Well, imagine Dean stuck in a metal box, surrounded by other metal boxes, all moving slower than a snail with a hangover. I'm really, really happy with how these videos have turned out. It's pretty awesome that this is free to use. It's great as it gives you so much control being able to use your own facial animations to control the way you want it to move. Okay, so we've reached the end of this video. I urge you to check out this website, give it a go, record yourself with different animations, and be creative. If you've got any tips or tricks to share, please leave a comment down below. And we would really appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and if you could subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you'd like to see one of our other videos, click the image you can see on screen. Thanks for watching.